Tommy Paul versus Ben Shelton is the third quarter final for the Men's Australian Open for 2023. And both guys have had to battle to get to this stage. Shelton started the tournament off unseeded and would take on Song in the first round. And after splitting the first four sets, this one went down to the wire with Shelton winning in five, four, six, six, three, six, two, two, six, seven, six. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier, Jarry, who had just beaten Kechmenovic. This was no problem with Shelton getting through in straights, seven, six, seven, six, seven, five. In the third round, he'd take on the wild card, Poprin, who had just beaten Taylor Fritz, the number eight seed, in five long sets. And again, Shelton looked strong, winning in straight sets. 6-3, 7-6, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on countryman JJ Wolf, who had a very impressive run to get to this stage. And again, after splitting the first four sets, this match went down the wire, with Shelton coming back from two sets to one down. 6-7, 6-2, 6-7, 7-6, 6-2, to get to his first quarterfinal. Paul started the tournament off, unseeded, and will take on the qualifier, Struff, in the first round. And after a close second set, Paul got through in straights, 6-1, 7-6, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on the 30th seed, David Dovich for Kina. And after dropping two of the first three sets, Paul would have to fight back to eventually prevail in five, 6-2, 2-6, 6-7, 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on countryman Brooksby, who had just beaten number two seed Casper Ruud in the previous round. And this was Paul's easiest match to date, getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-4, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Batista Agu, the 24th seed, who had come off beating Andy Murray in the previous round. Round. And after dropping the second set, Paul would come back to win in four, 6-2, 4-6, 6-2, 7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have never played each other before, mainly because Shelton is so new to the tour, only turning pro at the end of last year. Paul's been around for a while in American tennis, so this is going to be an interesting matchup to see two guys from the same country going at it for a semifinal. If Shelton's going to win, he's going to have to use that lefty serve and really probably not play a long match against Paul because Paul likes to grind out the rallies, so Shelton's going to have to keep it short and be aggressive. If Paul's going to win, he's just going to have to outlast his opponent and also use his experience. I know he doesn't have much Grand Slam experience at this level in the quarterfinals, but he has played a lot more tennis than his younger opponent, and especially in the big moments. He's played on the big stage, so I think he'll be able to handle the moment better, but he's going to have to do that with his game. This is a really interesting matchup because it's so random. I don't think anyone had this matchup going in to the first round. We had a lot of seeds that fell down early, and these guys remain, but I'm going to go with Shelton. I think he's young, exciting, and he's got nothing to lose. Paul's the guy who's no has more experience, but I'm just going to go with Shelton for the random pick because this is a random pick no matter what happens. Shelton in five, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.